Is all that for Lewis? Yes. How come he gets a cooked breakfast and we get muesli? Because he's a guest. You want one, you're always welcome to make your own. What, and he can't? Well, no, he can't, actually. He's injured in case you haven't noticed. Oh, we'd noticed, all right. I think she likes having him here. Yeah, well, I don't. Lying in bed together and I'm thinking, what's he doing in the next bedroom? Listening in. Which I'm sure he isn't. Have you finished, Maxie? Yeah. I'll go upstairs and brush your teeth and get ready for school, OK? Hey, what do you say to a night away, me and you, right? No Lewis in the next bedroom and, better still, no Max in ours. No way, where? Well, no telling town. I'll book it, get Mum to babysit Max, she's already babysitting Lewis anyway, then see if we can make that baby we keep talking about. Uh, I'll have to check with Nick. Don't check, just tell him. Mm. How's uh, Lewis? I don't think he knows till he tries getting out of bed. Mm, must be awful. Um, me and Kylie have been thinking, and would you be able to do us a really, really big favour? Yeah, OK. Oh, we Hiya, just so... Uh, well, just so you know, I've booked it. What? What? The hotel for tonight. Oh, no, David, I can't go, sorry. What? Why not? I've got too much to do here. Look, I've told you, just tell Nick you've got something else on. David, somebody's playing here. Look, I can't, it's an emergency. Right, so what you're saying is this place means more to you than me, then, does it? Oh, for goodness sake. Be quiet. Look, are we going tonight or not? No, we're not. Right, thanks. Now we know. Finished that. Guess what? Tommy has got Tina up the duff. Oh, what do do? Yeah, if we go to that hotel now, we could be next. Hotel? You going to my night? Well, we're trying for a baby. It's just it's a bit hard with Lewis and my mum always hanging around. Well, I told you I couldn't make it. Anyway, never mind about that. You never guess what's happened. Elvis came in and asked for steak and chips. No, that will last Monday. You are looking at the Bistro's new assistant manager. Nice one. I hope he's giving you a pay rise. Rain it in, David. Try not to get too excited. You were really impressed with me, actually. I said I proved myself tonight. Maybe you'll get a name badge. Hi, I'm Kylie. Happy to help. How many of you at? Not too many. Everything's still in working order, if you know what I mean. Sorry, I'm busy. I've got a job to do. So you're not going to come with me, then? Like I said, I'm busy. Well, nice to know you got your priorities right. <sighs> Sorry, OK? Hotel room sitting empty. Completely paid for, non-refundable. Well, it were a complete waste of money to begin with. It were a treat for you, you know that. Well, we got busy. I'm not some barmaid counting down the minutes. I'm assistant manageress now. Ah, now, come on. The suspense <laughs> is killing me. What is the big surprise? <laughs> Ta -da! A wheelchair? Just what I've always wanted. Well, I knew they had some at the centre, so I threw myself on Dr. Carter's mercy. And it's yours for as long as you want it. Good old Dr. Carter. We could go for a walk later on. Mm. We could even drop in at the Rovers if you like. Oh. Oh, oh what do you take the night off? We'll have the house to ourselves. I'm not a machine, David. Max! Come on, mate, we're gonna be late. And stop looking in that mirror. Honestly, we've got a right pose on our hands. I don't know who gets it off. I'll try and finish early and then we'll crack on. Deal? Deal. Mm. They're at school and I always fancied piano, but other than that... Come here. Excuse me. Do you mind? Have you been mouthing off to Max about us having another baby? Mouthing off? Yeah, getting him all excited. Well, we're trying for one, aren't we? Yes, trying. Well, it did happen last night. Hotel room, mini bar, en suite, trouser press. Will you shut up about the hotel? And what would we need a trouser press for, anyway? Pressing trousers. Well, that won't get us very far, would it? Look, if I get pregnant, we tell Max. Until then, we say nothing. Fine. Thank you. Well, now I'm in the mood. Yeah, well, you can forget about tonight, anyway, because I'm going out with Eva. What? I'm fed up with it, David. There's more to life than having kids. Yeah, I know there is. Sorry to interrupt, Mrs Finch. Sorry, uh...